Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you the first things that I recommend doing after setting up your Xiaomi 15. You can see in my case the setup is already complete and as I click on continue, I'm gonna show you the first things. So if you haven't connected to Wi-Fi yet, that's pretty a um, good starting point to do it at first. So later on we can use uh, the full functionality of the phone and it's gonna be pretty useful for the further steps as well. So go to settings then go to Wi-Fi. Now make sure Wi-Fi is enabled and select the network you want to connect to. Then enter its password and click on connect. Now I'm connected and since I'm connected there are uh, other things that I recommend doing which are um, updating your phone. So uh, it's important to keep your phone updated because without it um, you can't be really sure if your phone is secure. Also the updates uh, ens ensure your own phone runs smoothly and give you the newest features so let's go to the about phone and click on the xiaomi hyper os now it will check for updates and now as i go back i think i should see the update because i don't think i have the quite the freshest um, version but i'm not really sure in case you can see the update, you should be able to click on update button located right above the device name. And wh while you do it, uh, it will start downloading the new system and you will not have to do anything. You can just keep on continue um, using your phone. But if um, for, uh, I mean, after the update is downloaded, you will be prompted to restart your phone, which may take a bit longer than a usual restart, but that will apply the update, and after that you can continue with this video. So now we should update the apps on our mm, system. So first I'm gonna go to the system apps updater, because the system apps up are updated in settings and the apps downloaded from Play Store and the Google apps are updated through the Play Store. So, Let's go here and let's see what updates we have and I'm gonna update all because updating apps is important for the very same reason as, um, as updating your phone but also some apps just won't work without the update. So now it's being updated and I'm gonna sign in to Google which is also another step. We will need it especially to go to the Play Store to download additional apps as well as just up, uh, update them. So I'm gonna go to the additional settings then accounts and sync. Then click on add account if under accounts you don't have any Google account listed and click on Google. Then enter your email. Uh, if you don't have an account, you can click on create account, of course. And then enter the password. <laughs> now it'll sign me in and you can choose whether you or your child will be using this device. So if you select your child, the further steps may vary. Uh, but just follow the instructions on screen. They should be pretty intuitive Now I'm just gonna click on next then I need to agree to Google Terms of Service because without it I'm not able to add the account Then uh, you'll be asked if you want to back up your phone's data and if you don't know whether or not I recommend leaving that enabled uh, So it makes you not lose your data in case something happens with your phone now I'm gonna click on accept and my Google account is added. So once it's added, we can go to the Play Store and update the apps and also install some if you want. So I'm gonna click on get started. Then I'm gonna skip installing some additional apps and then I'm gonna select use password to verify my purchases because I don't have my biometrics set up just yet. Although I'm gonna show you how to do it in a moment. I just need to enter my Google account password. And now, as you can see, I'm logged in. You can click on your profile icon in top right corner. 
and click on My Apps and Games. Then go to Updates Available and click on Update All. Uh, while it's being updated, we can continue with the next step, which is going to the Settings. And um, in the Settings, go to face, uh, Fingerprints, Face Data and Screen Lock. And first, I'm going to set the Screen Lock because, as you can see, I have it set to off, so I don't have any. And before I do it, I also need to warn you that in case you forget your screen lock, then there will be no other way to restore your phone than to erase all the data that's on it. So do your best to not, not to forget your screen lock, but I think it's still worth setting it up so no one else besides you has access to your private data on your phone. You can select a pattern, pin or password depending on your preference. I'm gonna set the pattern. Then just click on got it after five seconds and enter the screen lock that you want to set. Then re-enter it to confirm and click on confirm. Now I'm gonna cancel the fingerprint because I'm gonna add it myself in case you already have the screen lock. Then in fingerprints face and data and screen lock face data and screen lock, you can just go to fingerprint unlock. Then enter your screen lock that you have. Then click on got it. This message says that some screen protectors might interfere with the screen, uh, uh, screen fingerprint recognition, but I think most of them will still work because it's a light sensor, uh, I believe. Or no, actually, it's not a light sensor, it's an ultrasonic sensor. So. Yeah, some of the um, screen protectors actually may interfere with it, but I think it's still worth trying. Now I have my fingerprint set, you just need to tap and lift multiple times. Remember to move your finger between its cancer scans, a whole area of, of it. And now I can go back and here is the face unlock. And I'm gonna explain something. I don't recommend um, setting it up because it only bases on the camera. There are phones on the market that are based on IR sensors, but the, this one doesn't. And um, I don't find it really secure since it can be unlocked with a photo of you or by someone who looks similar. But I'm still gonna show you how to set it up in case you need it. So let's go to the face unlock then enter the screen lock then click on start after five seconds you can um, click on next and then position your face within the frame and keep it still now my face is added and i'm gonna show you how to unlock your phones with this three methods so i'm gonna lock the screen the first one is pretty simple, the fingerprint, even if the screen is off, even if that fingerprint circle doesn't show up, you can just tap in the correct spot and it works pretty fast. Then with the screen lock, you can just click on the power button, slide up, enter the screen lock and it's done. And with the face unlock, you can just click on the power button, look at your phone, swipe up. Or if you don't want to swipe up after face unlocking, you can go to face unlock, enter your screen lock and disable stay on lock screen after unlocking. So now, as I unlock with face, it goes immediately into um, the app that has been opened. And now we can go to the next step, which is uninstalling the unimportant apps. And of course, there are only a few of these apps, so it's not that bad. But if there is any app from here, for example, that you don't need, you can just press and hold on it, click on the trash icon and click on uninstall. And that can just make you get rid of these unimportant bloatwares. Mm, although there's not much of these apps, as you can see here, uh, most of them are actually system apps. And now let's get to the last thing, which is setting our wallpaper. Uh, if you want your wallpaper to be custom, you can set your own photo that you can take right now. You might have taken it already. You might have transferred it from your previous device or downloaded it in from the web. I'm gonna take a photo now because I don't have any, I think. Now with that photo, we can just go to settings, then go to personalization, then click on the lock screen or the home screen 
Unfortunately, this process is pretty weird because you can't set the home screen wallpaper alone. You can only set it while you're setting the lock screen wallpaper, um, and that will make you have either mm, like the same wallpaper on both, or uh, on home screen there will be the one that was set previously. So in my case, the default one, and on the lock screen, the customized one. So if you really want to change only the home screen, then you should first change both wallpapers uh, and set them to something that you want on that home screen and then change the lock screen itself. But I'm just gonna change the lock, lock screen itself to not make that video too long. So just click on the lock screen, select wallpaper, and I'm gonna go to the local photos so I can select something from my gallery. Allow all, allow all, and I don't see that photo here. But as I go to the gallery for the first time on this phone ever, I should see this photo. Let's take it. No, it's it's here, so 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 it should be here. Yes, now finally it has appeared. So as I go to the settings now, um, I think it was here. We can select that photo. So we just need to wait, as it turns out. You can see you can um, adjust that wallpaper. You can set depth. You can see it sort of covers a part of the. Um, clock you can also customize the clock you can change the font what's the being displayed in either of these three uh, versus three lines uh, then you can also add your signature right here so you can enter your contact info then at the top you can display either carrier date or temperature air quality or way more then you can also add a wallpaper effect like the glass wallpaper that disables the depth um, filter, by the way. You can also add a matte effect to that wallpaper. Maybe I'll leave it like that. I think that it looks quite great. You can also add fun effects. So it'll just change the appearance of uh, this um, clock. Maybe let's set it to the green one just a bit and then I'm gonna apply it Now you can see you can only apply it to either only lock screen or both. I'm gonna apply it to both and This is how it looks That's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time